For those who just joined the recording, page 169, blessed are you, the architect, our God, sovereign, connector, source of all worlds, shape the human being with wisdom, making for us all the openings and vessels of the body. It is revealed and known before your throne of glory that if if one of these passageways should be open when it should be closed or blocked up like with a virus or something, when it should be free, one could not stay alive or stand before you. Baruch atah Adonai rofei chol basar umafli lasot. Let's start with a blessing for the power of our bodies to sustain life, to heal itself, to wake up and get up in the morning. Because as Rabbi Arthur Green suggests at the bottom of that page, we do not need to stand before any greater wonder of nature than our own bodies in order to appreciate the intricacy and the beauty with which our world is endowed. In a sense of awe, we strive for on these days of awe, these yamim noraim, a sense of awe at our own creation is a starting point for prayer. Page 194. Blessed is one who speaks and creates a world, a new world. Baruch she'amar v'haya ha'olam. Baruch hu, Baruch osei b'reishi. Baruch shemo, Baruch omer ve'osei. Baruch hu, Baruch gozer unkayem. Baruch Shemo, Baruch Merachem al Haaretz, Baruch Hu, Baruch Merachem al Habriyot, Baruch Shemo, Baruch Meshalem Sachar Tov Lireyav, Baruch Hu, Baruch Maver Falayim Nevi Ora, Baruch Shemo, Baruch Halad Vekayam Lanetzak, Baruch Hu. Baruch Pode Matsil, Baruch Hu, Baruch Shemo. Baruch Adonai Elohim, Baruch Olam. So last night I invoked the 27th Psalm, Psalm devoted for this season, of preparing for change, for transformation. It includes the phrase, Achat Sha'alti, Me'et Adonai, Me'ota Avakesh. If I could ask just one thing, what would it be? I'll take a moment to, you might want to close your eyes. Give your mind a focus. Align it with your heart. Feel the breath in your body. Psalm 27. The courage to love as if. My deepest fear, the energy illuminating everything cannot be named. When all I see is reflection and refraction, who am I to be afraid of dark or light, of seeing, being seen or not? 
silence. Aleph is the mother of all sounds, syllables, names. When a wisp of breath guards the fortress of my life, who shall I fear? Which eye is worrying so? Fear and worry come so fast and consume my flesh from within, thieving me of ease and joy. If only they would stumble and topple like the walls of Jericho. For now they have set up camp, settling in, starving my head of sense and my heart of wonder. If you force upon me this unwanted war, I will trust in this, this mystery of light and sight, hidden forces made visible through refracting masks, my deepest fear. And my deepest desire, just one, if granted one last wish, this would be my request to sample Sabbath rest in the house of wonder every living day. To see with eyes of equanimity and ease waking me to each new dawn in a palace of delight. What if... What if it were not so, doubt, division, danger, death? I choose to live as if I have the courage to act in the face of doubt, to see the hidden connections and blessings, to belong and to be beholden to the living land. Together, let us draw new kinds of lines in the shifting sands of time. I choose to trust you to empower you, to re-see you, to celebrate your courageous heart. One thing, one thing, I ask you, I do Let us lift our eyes to each other, to the mountains. Page 246. I'm an E minor. E minor. Okay. Oh, there's people. <laughs> you are on the biggest thing. Oh, oh, Ready? Strange from the source of moon, mountain, and sun. the 
stretching all right you may be seated two blessings two foci help us prepare for the shema for this declaration of of unity unconditional unity and connection the first turns us in tunes us in to the cycles of light and dark and the seasons the new moon the equinox the rising sun, the spinning earth. And to link our own lights rising with the day. Yotzer or uvore choshech, ose shalom uvore kol, dark and light, peace, everything has a place. Baruch atah Adonai, yotzer hameorot. I just sent your email. Yeah. And the second fosai, Focus point is love. Ahava Raba Ahavtanu. Adonai Luhinu Chemla Gedola Vitera Chamalta Alain. This overabundance of love, infinite, flowing, permeating, enabling all we are and all we do. Baruch Ata Adonai. Ohev Amo. Israel, may we find the capacity to bring together profound polarities, to find opposites connected, creating energy and new life. Shema, the Ahafta, page 304. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai
Did you hear that? Whole congregation chanting Torah together. What a beautiful sound. Like we all sang together at the Sea of Reeds and celebrated newfound freedom, right? Last year, free from it. So may we be. Micha mocha. Page three, uh, three eighteen. Yeah. They all came together. Hodu vehim lichu, and they lifted up in thanks and praise. Vayomru Adonai lo leolam va Sur Israel kuma beazrat Israel. We rise, begin the Amidah together, page 324. <laughs> Thank you. 
When we really begin a new year, it is decided, and when we actually repent, it is determined. Who shall be truly alive, and who shall be merely exist? Who shall be happy, and who miserable? Let's do this as a responsive reading. 
who shall be tormented by the fire of ambition and whose hopes shall be quenched by the waters of failure. Together, who shall, shall be pierced, pierced by the sharp sword of envy and who shall be torn by the wild beast. Who shall be hungry for companionship and who shall thirst for approval? Who shall be shattered by storms of change? And who shall be plagued by the pressures of the Who shall be strangled by insecurity? And who shall be beaten into submission? Be content with their and who shall wander in search of satisfaction? Who shall be serene? And who shall be distraught? Who shall be at ease? And who shall be afflicted with anxiety? Who shall be poor in their own eyes? And who shall be rich in tranquility? But Teshuva, Tefila, and Sadaka have the power to change our lives. May we resolve then to turn from our accustomed ways to behave righteously so that we may truly begin a new year. Page 348. forgotten. It is you who shall open this book of remembrance, but its contents shall speak for themselves, for it bears the imprint of us all, which our deeds and our lives have inscribed. And when the great shofar is sounded, a small, quiet voice can be heard, a voice within the voice of communal accountability urging us on. For on Rosh Hashanah it is written, and in Yom Kippur it is sealed. Page 350. <laughs>
and be seated at your discretion. Fifty six. We've got a God as a king. Not a subject, not a child who longs for God as father or mother. I might imagine God as teacher or friend, but those images like king, master, father or mother are too small for me now. God is the force of motion and light in the universe. God is the strength of life on our planet. God is the power moving us to do good. God is the source of love springing up in us. God is far beyond what we can comprehend. We rise for the Torah service. We'll use Avinu Mulcanu to inspire us again to stand and open the ark. Page 454, previous page. <laughs> Set 
Shema, page 470. Shema Yisrael Adonai Shema Kadosh Vinora Shemo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadosh Vinora Shemo Gadol Adonai Ti Uneromema Shemo
<laughs> it's just because it's the big 9-0. <laughs> It's going to be quite a come down. <laughs> My mother was busy one day and told me to go down to the fish market and get something for dinner. I was 10 years old. I don't know anything about fish. She said, listen to me and you will. She said, stop outside the market and wait. Soon a little old Jewish woman carrying a basket will come. Follow her. Stand by as she looks over the stock. If she flips a fin and sniffs, you flip the other fin and sniff. If she presses one gill, you press the other. Whatever she buys, you buy the other half. She is your expert. I went to the market and waited. There she came, basket, babushka, scheitel, my mentor. I followed. She approached a big fish and peered into its eye. I peered into the other. She flipped a fin and sniffed, I flipped the other. She turned to me and in Yiddish she said, Boss Dengstu, what do you think? It doesn't take much to shake one's faith that there's order in the universe. <laughs> but before we start shivering, let's eat the fish. It's a pity that not all our elders are our wisers. People tell us that history repeats itself. It does. We were stupid then and we're stupid now. <laughs> history has a habit of appearing to us with different earrings and fools us into believing that it's a new phenomenon. Mm. The cultural dislocations of COVID are in most ways the same as they were in 1334 and 1636 with different costumes. By the way, good came out of both of those plagues after the dead were counted. Ken tiki so may it be with us. Some of that good news is that we have learned yet again that we are part of something much greater than ourselves and at the same time that life itself is local. Even as I followed that old lady as a stranger, I knew myself that I fit somehow into a life that I was even blind to its greatness, inheriting. Over the past year, I've met a few people who were being or had been converted to Judaism. Some of them were reform, some orthodox, some like me, paradox. <laughs> These people want to join us and help us blow away the smoke of the Holocaust and the smoke of Israel's present and ongoing gunfire and become part of us and part of our tradition. Happy New Year. Of course, there are three New Years, Rosh Hashanah, Simchat Torah, and Pesach to choose from. We're also not sure where Mount Sinai is. And of course, there are three possibilities in the running and controversies about each entrant. Buy your half a fish and welcome to the Jews. <laughs> And happy birthday, Joanne. Very nice. Okay, so our tradition, we do uh, the five aviot uh, for Rosh Hashanah. And um, our first reader is going to be Carolyn Torf. Carolyn here. Oh, wonderful. Come on up. Find your spot. And, and we'll uh, offer group um, to come up and offer the blessings before and after each reading. So uh, you can either do that from up here or you can stand up in your place if one of these uh, categories calls to you. Um, so the first one will be um, so anyone celebrating a new birth or adoption in their household. Okay, so that'll be for the first Talia. So at least a couple of you, if you would come up and others could stand in their place. The second one will be those who are marking a weaning of sorts, a letting go, weaning a child or sending a kid off to college or a career, retiring, etc. The third one will be uh, to honor all those who have had B'nai Mitzvah 
or weddings in the past year. The fourth one will be for anyone who's hoping for a new venture, a new uh, career or personal venture or relationship. Um, and in that, we also want to, want to honor new, new, new members and guests to Beth Evergreen. So if you're here for the first time or as a guest, it's a new venture to make it up here. And the fifth one, um, we're going to invite uh, those who are either marking the completion of a healing process or coming up to receive some healing. Okay. So you have four options to choose from. Everybody can pick one. You can pick more than one if you like. And uh, when you do come up, if you have a Hebrew name, if you'd let me know when you come up to, uh, to do your Aliyah. Vaya zor v'nekini kusim bo v'namar amen akol ebud nuchavod la Torah. Yam do we call forward all those celebrating new life, new birth, a new grandpa. Come for, come over here. And uh, is this your first time reading? For, no, second. Okay. Okay, the, the Torah reading can be found, uh, let's see, on uh, page 481, uh, the blessings that will precede, the, bless the blessings that will precede and follow each, you can follow on page 476. So 476 to 481, and uh, here's blessings. So I'm just gonna... I love the blessings. Yeah, you can. <laughs> One each. Okay. Uh, Yam do. So sorry. Dovi. Ben Abraham. Ben Abraham. Ben. Okay. Rivka. But Rivka. And your Hebrew name? Gidon. Gidon. Kenya. Okay. Can I come a little closer to you guys? And you can sit back a little bit. Okay. The blessing. Baruchu. Baruchu Adonai Hamvora. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Kirvanu Le'avo Ato. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. 482 the <laughs>
Okay, blessing after. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher atah lam et Torah temet, v'chaye olam natam betochinu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha'Torah. All right, Mazel Tov. Uh, so you want to announce uh, your... Uh, my daughter Nika gave birth uh, three weeks ago today in uh, Switzerland mm. to a, a little boy, Elio uh, is his name, and uh, we just came back from meeting him. Wow, Mazel Tov. <laughs> come over to this side and, and Robin. My daughter Jennifer, who many of you know, gave birth to a little boy nine months ago. His name is Jeffrey Shea. His name was given to him in honor of his, his uh, late grandpa. Mm. And I go back and forth to Florida, and it is purely joy with my grandson, my daughter. <laughs> I love you, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my older uh, here, daughter if you is starting here, medical school. Sorry, if you come here, yeah. you're using like oh, yeah. so my, my older daughter is starting medical school and she'll be moving out of our apartment. And so it's uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> Mazel 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 my middle daughter, uh, Molly, just gave birth to her third daughter and my third granddaughter. And her name is Isabel. <laughs> Today is a day for celebrating new birth, new life. On page 502, we have a brief ritual to honor these new births and others. If there are any on Zoom, uh, you can put them in the chat. Uh, when the people of Israel stood at Mount Sinai ready to receive the Torah, God said to them, bring me good securities to guarantee that you will keep my way, and then I will give you the Torah. They said. How about our ancestors? God said, nope. They said, how about our prophets? God said, nope. And then they said, our children will be our securities. And God said, ah, that'll work. <laughs> Congregation, together. For the sake of the children, for the sake of the unfolding, was Torah given to Israel. Let us welcome the newborn of our people and the children who have come into our midst this year bringing special joy. Let us welcome the children that they might become our guarantors, reminding us that we receive Torah only to teach Torah, that we teach Torah only when we do Torah, now, here, and always. We'll offer a Shehechiani blessing. You'll join me? It's here if you would like to look at it in very small print. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shehechianu, v'kirmanu, v'higianu, l'azman ha'zeh. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. You can stay up for the second, for the second of the year. For the second of the year, we're oh, um, inviting people to come forward who are marking a, a release of sorts, a letting go, a weaning, a child going off, uh, to college or or um, retirement, etc. Yam do. Say it again. Yitzhak. Avram Yosef. Avram Yosef. And Yitzhak Ari. Arav Shmoon. Ben Baruch Vitamar. Come this way, guys. You got to be behind the Torah. And Yakira. But uh, Ora Badi Hudit. Shoshana Badi Hudit. Shoshana Bat Avram Asar. Leah. Leah. Miriam Bat Sophia. And here's blessings if you just. And you can talk on them. Okay. And our second reader, uh, Tara. <laughs> okay, now we're on to page 483, 484 
right? And the blessing Amen. 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 Avraham ben Me'at Shana Behiva Ledlo Et Yitzhak Beno Vatomer Sarah Tahok Asali Elohim Kol Hashomea Yitzhak Li Vatomer me, me, Lel Abraham, he nikavanim, Sarah, ki yaladati, ben lis kunav, vaigdal ha yeled, vaigamal, vayas Abraham, mishte gadol, Bayom hagim. Higamel et 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 Vet beni kilo irash ben haama hazot im beni imitrak vayera davar me ad bene Abraham al odot beno. By Yomer Elohim El Abraham El Yira Be'enecha Al Hana Arva Al Umatecha Kol Asher Tomar Elecha Sarah Shomea Bikaleki Be'itchak Yikare Lecha Zara. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, v'chayei olam nota betochenu. Baruch Adonai, notin ha'torah. Sharing? I'm weaning. Are you weaning? <laughs> We're weaning each other. <laughs> I moved out. That was me. Okay, moving on. Oh, many of you know our daughter Francesca, who's been participating in these services since she was, I don't know, six years old. Uh, first in the youth choir and then uh, as one of our song leaders, uh, Schatz. Is, um, she has moved to New York City, so this is the first year, and we are weaning, Alan and I. She's 25 years old and she's loving New York. Nice. <laughs> you guys. Um, my son Tom left to go to Rutgers to study music mm. this year, so. Nice. Some of the same. Elijah's a sophomore at University of Colorado, but this year he's in a house instead of a dorm. He took more stuff and it feels more like he's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my oldest uh, is finishing his last semester of college abroad. And 
my youngest, uh, has just started his gap year in Israel. So I, I accept this blessing and I share it with my children mm -hmm. that they be safe and happy. Just lots in life to let go of. <laughs> May the Holy One who blessed our ancestors, our matriarchs and mothers, each of whom had to give birth and, and wean, uh, progressively wean over the course of a lifetime as these children do what they're built to do, to take wing. Um, may you rejoice in that flight uh, even as your heart aches for, for the loss, so too may it open up space for ever more profound sense of joy and pride. Then Omar, let us say, Amen. 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 Uh, we'll just have a couple of you stay up, and then the rest of you can go sit down. You'll come out. You'll stay up. For the third Aliyah, um, we have uh, Ravi Glantz will be our reader, and we're honoring anyone who had a, a bar bar mitzvah, bone mitzvah, or wedding uh, in their family this year that they want to celebrate. Come on up. Hey, you can represent him, Josh. Yeah. yeah. Yamdu. Yoshua ben Raphael ben Sarah. Yoshua ben Raphael ben Sarah. Virea. Rivka Devora. Lalia Hassini. What are we up to? Three? Shlisit. Okay, come on up here. Alright, so open up. Hold this. Okay. Do you want to touch here, Raya? And let's scroll with your tongue. Remember that? Go ahead, Josh, you can do. Okay, Barhu. Baruch Adonai Hamburach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Hamburach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Karvanu La'avotah Ve'atanu La'ot Et Orto Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vatera Sara et Ben Hagar Hamitrit Asher Yaldal La Abraham Mitzachek Vayomer Elohim Tomer Elohim Vayomer Vatomer Elohim Vatomer La Abraham Vatomer La Abraham Garesh Ha'ama hazot ve'et bena ki lo hirash ben ha'ama hazot im bni im yitzchak va'ira harvar ma'od be'ene Abraham al hodot. Vayomer Elohim El Avraham Al Yir Yira Benecha Al Hanar Ve'al Amatecha Kol Asher Tomar Elecha Sarah Shema Bekolam Ki Veitzchak Vayikare Lechazar Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Nathan Lanu Torah Temet Vehaye olam ata betochenu Baruch ata Adonai Noten haTorah Amen Josh, we'll just say what you're celebrating Oh, well, um, so my daughter 
Josephine, Josie, had her uh, bat mitzvah this year, and um, she did great, and we're all very proud of her and looking forward to uh, my son Thomas in three years and my other son Eli in five years. Um, I just had my bat mitzvah in July. Yeah, mazel tov, mazel tov, Can you guys come to this side now? Okay, for the fourth aliyah, um, we're welcoming newcomers, new members, uh, and anyone thinking of a new venture to kick off. Yeah, I'm due. And again, you can do it from your place or come on up here, either one. And if you have a Hebrew name you'd like to share. Kanavat <laughs> Benjamin. Oh, okay. And Yoshua? Ben Raphael. Ben Raphael. Sarah. Yep, yeah, come on over. Just come, come this way. Yeah, good. And your Hebrew name? Adina. Adina Bat Rachel Menachem. And Hebrew name? Kapo. Rivka. Mordecai David Ben Ruben Dov. Ora, but Idi, Ori, but Idi, Ida, Ida, the the Abraham, and Yosef Yaakov, Ben Baruchai, Baruchai, Nevun Yechaskel, Ben Rani, first name, Nevun, Yechaskel, Ben Rani, Rani, Benjamin Abraham, Benjamin Abraham, the Eliza Bachava, Bachava, Sevia Batenda. Peter? Peter. All right, if you can come this way, you guys. And we'll distribute those, one or two or three, three people. And if you could try to squeeze around this way, that'd be great. So the third, this, uh, this fourth aliyah we're doing is, is found on page 486. Okay. Can you come a little closer, Steve? Come on up. Barhu, ready? Barhu es Adonai Hamborah. Baruch Adonai Hamborah Leolam Ba'en. Baruch Adonai Hamborah Leolam Ba'en. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher. Baruch Adonai Hamborah Leolam Ba'en. Amen. Begamet ben ha'amal lekoi asimenu ki zarecha hu hu vayashkem Abraham baboker vayikach lechem vechem matmaim vayiten el hagar sam al shichma. Et ha yeled vay shalcheha Vatelech vateta Vemidbar ber shava Vayichlu maim min hachemet Vatashlech et ha yeled Tachat achat hashichi hasichim Vatelech vateshev la Mineged harchek Kim tachave kashet ki amra al ere bemot hayaled vate shev mineged vati saet kola vatevk vayishma lohim et kol hanar vayikra malak elohim el hagar min hashamayim vayomer la What's with you, Hagar? Al tirei mashama Elohi ki shama Elohim el kol hanar basher husham. And the blessing after. Baruch atah Eloheinu melech haolam, asher matam, am yu Torah tenes, 
Amen. All right, if you can briefly do new ventures, uh, come up to the microphone and share. Launch a website to teach laws from the Torah that were adopted into U.S. law. Wow. A website to teach laws from the, from, uh, that are derived from Torah. Contemporary laws derived from Torah. Um, yeah, do you want to do it? Okay. Uh, more? Um, <clears throat> yes, where the microphone is. That's okay, I'll catch you. Took a long time. Uh, Judith and I got out here in uh, a couple of years ago at the uh, insistence of daughter Lilia. And I think we're beginnings, uh, new beginnings uh, for me, for us, uh, probably one would be joining the synagogue here formally and uh, for myself personally beginning uh, a new career. I've uh, had the other one for a, a really... <laughs> Your wife's laughing. She's laughing. <laughs> well, That's exactly what happened to Abraham. Sorry, I just laughed. Well, we'll go a for new kid! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it'll be a, a it'll couple be a of new things. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Right. okay. And you can go back and sit down. Uh, anyone else to share their venture? I ha I'm Helen, and I'm just shaking up pretty much everything in my life this year. So that sounds like a lot of new things. <laughs> yes, it is. Starting writing my books. Writing your books, beautiful. First time in this shul and new to Colorado. So nice, thank welcome. You. Thank you. Morning. Same, first time in this shul. My husband couldn't join me today, but we're new in the community. Josh? Uh, I forgot to mention happy birthday to my dad earlier, but also, I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, Star, and I over there uh, just moved to Pine, so it's our first time here. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, I just started a new job. My son is in from Chicago, so he's a guest here. And uh, my daughter just got defended her dissertation and got her PhD in environmental science on Thursday from CU. So she's never going to live in Colorado again. Oh, <laughs> and you can set that there. Yeah. Thank you. Um, my husband's son and I are new members to this congregation this year, and it's our first time at this school. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we're new members and recently moved to uh, Evergreen. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, last night was uh, my first time here. I've lived in uh, Georgetown for uh, since December, but uh, I uh, have been uh, isolating because of the pandemic. Also, my very shy partner is uh, starting a, a new job and uh, just put in her two weeks this morning. Wow, welcome, welcome, come. And if you come here, yeah. Sir, welcome. Uh, sorry, I was late. My Hebrew name is Yitzhak. Um, my name is Zach. Uh, first time here, and I'm here with the learners. Wonderful. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Ruchim abayim. Welcome, and and chazak chazak ve chazek. May may you go from strength to strength in your in your new ventures. And and thank you for enriching our community with your with your presence and uh, and support. All right, we're ready for one more fifth aliyah. So this one is for those. Uh, seeking healing or celebrating uh, uh, the healing process or in recovery, if you'd like an Aliyah as well. Yamdu. Natan is my guest. Yes. Natan, ben, ben Mordecai, Shoshana, Darit, Bat Chaim, Begito. Shoshana, keep her name. Zaito. Shoshana, Shimon. Wonderful. Okay, here's some of these. Good. Okay, there you go. All right. Need another one? There you go. Okay. Good. Okay. Marhu, together. Barhu et Adonai Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'en Baruch 
Blessing after. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Natam Anu Torah Demet V'chaye Olam Natah B'tokhenu Baruch Atah Adonai Nuntin HaTorah Amen. If you'd like to share uh, the healing news. Recovering from heart surgery. <laughs> This way. And you can set your blessing here and you go by. So you good? So I have a brand new knee that I've named Nina. Um, <laughs> and I am incredibly grateful for the new relationship I have with her and how remarkably well she's doing. Uh, oh. oh my god, can you kick him out? Does he have to stay? That's, that's <laughs> two strikes. <laughs> two strikes, Alan. Hi. Um, recovering from a broken foot and also wanted to share that my dad had successful glaucoma surgery in one of his eyes. He can see a little bit, which is great. And all, unfortunately, he was put on dialysis, but he's feeling better. So it's all good. Uh, uh, healing on my cancer journey. Three-time survivor um, of breast cancer. Oh, Just grateful for good health and healing. If you'd like to name someone in addition to offer this Misha Barrett for healing, you can call out their name or you can put it in the chat, friends on Zoom.
Hanan, Gila Eckelman, Miriam Ehrlich, and Brian Martinez. May those we named and those we don't know to name be granted a refuah shleim, a healing of body and spirit. Zoom capacity to chime in? You can go back. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So before returning the Torah to the Ark, we'll, do, we'll offer a blessing for this country and then a blessing for Israel. We have a special guest uh, to uh, offer that blessing for the state of Israel. So, uh, Mike, if you unmute and you can offer the blessing for can the country. Can you all hear me today? Yep, we can hear you. Whoa. All right. And 480. There's a blessing. Okay. Sovereign of the universe, mercifully receive our prayer for our land and its government. Let your blessing pour out on this land and on all officials of this country who are occupied in good faith with the public needs. Instruct them from your Torah's laws Enable them to understand your principles of justice so that peace and tranquility, happiness and freedom might never turn away from our land. Please, wise one, God of the life breath of all flesh, waken your spirit within all inhabitants of our land and plant among the peoples of different nationalities and faiths well here, love and brotherhood, peace and friendship. Uproot from their hearts all hatred and enmity, all jealousy and vying for supremacy. Fulfill the yearning of all the people of our country to speak proudly in its honor. Fulfill their desire to see it become a light to all nations. Therefore, may it be your will that our land should be a blessing to all inhabitants of the globe, cause friendship and freedom to dwell among all peoples, and soon fulfill the vision of your prophet, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, let them learn no longer ways of war, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Amen, thank you, Michael. And on the following page, 581, 582, Itai Davinsky here, uh, our shaliach from Israel uh, for the broader Federation Jewish community in Colorado, uh, here to offer the prayer for the state of Israel. Hebrew or English? Uh, a little bit of both, please. I mean, let's see. Do the Hebrew. צור ישראל וגואלו, ברך נא את מדינת ישראל, ראשית צמיחת גאולתנו, הגן עליה ברוב חסדיך ופרוס עליה סוכת שלומך, שלוח אורך ואמתך לראשיה, לשופטיה ולנבחריה, ותקנם בעצה טובה מלפניך למען ילכו בדרך הצדק, החופש והישר. חזק את ידי מגיני ארץ קודשנו, והנחילם ישועה וחיים, ונתת שלום בארץ ושמחת עולם ליושביה. פקוד נא לברכה את אחינו בית ישראל בכל ארצות פזוריהם, תא בלבם אהבת ציון, ומי בהם מכל עמנו יהי אלוהיו עמו ויעל. האצל מרוחך על כל יושבי ארץ קודשנו, הסר מקרבם שנאה ואיבה, קנאה ורשעות, ותא בלבם, בלבם אהבה ואחווה, שלום ורעות, וקיים במהרה חזון נביאיך, לא יישא גוי אל גוי חרב, 
ולא ילמדו עוד מלחמה ונאמר אמן. אמן. לא יישא גוי על גוי חרב. Nation should not lift up sword against nation and let them learn no longer the ways of law of war. Yamod, Hagba Yamod, Hagolel. Please rise for the lifting of the Sefer Torah and the redressing. Lo Yisa Goy. standing for the shofar service. The blessings are on page 592. Okay. Okay. Reverse. 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 I'm sorry. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'tsivanu Likro lishmoa Kol shofar Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu V'higianu L'azman hazeh
Okay. Maybe uh, let's let's return the Torah to the Ark. You gonna share eight screen? Please rise. Oh, you're rising. <laughs> you're already. Yeah. When I'm getting confused. Okay. What's that? So I'd like to introduce you to someone, a new friend of mine, Justin. Obi is going to come up and introduce himself and share some words. Hello, my name is Justin. I am a, a new member here for the last couple of months. I'm also going through the conversion process to Judaism through the Intro to Judaism class. Rabbi Jamie is my sponsor, so I've been working with him over the last few months as well. Uh, through that process, he's given me a whole bunch of questions and readings to do, and 
Uh, one of the things that I decided to take on myself was write a reflection uh, after the first, uh, after our first session and after the first list of readings. And to my surprise, he asked me if I would like to stand in front of you all today and read that. So uh, here we are. Um, so I'll just begin here. Uh, so when I first spoke the words that I want to be Jewish, it seemed like a decision or a choice. I had spent time researching, studying, exploring the breadth of options and frameworks for spirituality, spirituality, religiosity. A former lieutenant of mine at the Denver Paramount Denver Paramedic Health Division would say to us, God only gives us what you can handle, in reference to our randomly assigned 911 calls that we would get sent on. During my five-month paramedic orientation in Denver, my calls were typically light, easy, straightforward, and simplistic. I was called a white cloud and told the EMS God seemed absent and silent. After my orientation, my calls quickly turned dark, violent, graphic, complex, and difficult. Another, another lieutenant and seasoned paramedic once told me that I run once-in-a-lifetime calls on a weekly basis. I turned into a black cloud, and I began to listen to and feel the presence of that and I. What is now clear is that the only choice I have made is to listen, to accept, and to feel. When I first read in Torah that those receiving scripture at Mount Sinai included all those present and all those not present, I interpreted it as meaning that Torah is meant for birthright and Jews by choice alike. This line of thinking prevailed until the thought was offered during an intro to Judaism session that my soul and the souls of those like me received Torah at Mount Sinai. And through this, through this discovery, we accept and become part of the covenant. What is apparent now is that Judaism is a part of me that I am discovering, not deciding, and not choosing, but accepting. What is also clear and apparent is that Judaism is not a passive commitment. The practical is just as important as the didactic. It is not enough to learn to be a Jew through study alone. One must understand that Judaism has less to do with communing with Adonai at a designated time and a designated place and more to do with and more to do with commuting with that and I by turning words into actions. In a basic sense, one must discover, understand, and know what it means to feel, act, and be Jewish. For me, immersing myself in a foreign environment with foreign persons in a foreign language is helping me to meld the didactic with the practical, the known with the unknown, the possible with the impossible the words with the deeds, the mitzvot with the mit midot. Several times now when sitting in the sanctuary, I've been brought to tears, but I do not cry. On multiple occasions while we reading Love Song, the story of conversion of Julius Lester, I could not help but see and feel the story as my own, and my eyes turned to well, but I do not cry. The story of Schindler resonated deeply, and I could feel the struggle, the misery, and the transformation, just as I could feel the damp dampness that was brought forth from my eyes. But I do not cry. For the first time, I am beginning to see the sanctification of the ordinary, and the tears come to my eyes. But I do not cry. For me, my journey has begun, the discoveries are unfolding, and I am beginning to understand to accept and to feel, maybe for the first time now. And now, I cry. And beings, this is the first time that I've stood in front of this congregation and spoken. I would like to finish with the Baruch uh, If you know it, please join me. The Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaCholam Shehe Chiyanu Vakra Miyanu Vehi Kiyanu Lazman Hazeh. Thank you. Starting a new journey, and I'm completely bowled over by the courage of people stepping into a whole new community, a whole new tradition and culture and you know, Hebrew and all of, and, uh, and making their way. 
Um, so I'd like to do one ritual that's part of the Musaf service, and that is uh, to rise and do a, a full prostration, um, bowing. So you can do a deep bow in your place, or maybe you can find room to put the nose to the ground. Um, but it's really the, the humbling of ourselves that we strive for in the season, and knowing that the, right, the, the farther we fall, the higher we rise. If you'd rise for the Elenu. Page 612. <laughs> be seated. And now we remember. Teachers, friends, Shonatova. The great physicist Niles Bohr once said, the opposite of a true statement is a false statement. But the opposite of a profound truth can be another profound truth. As individuals living in relation to one another, as couples, as families, as a community, we must strive to do both. Both have the discipline to discern between fact and falsehood and the passion and compassion to live in the paradoxes of multiple profound truths. The first step in doing so is learning to see and let go of the biases, let go of the biases and fears that keep us stuck in the past. Let's start with the big entrance bias. Announcing a wanted pregnancy. Wow! Naming a newborn. Hooray! A new friendship. Alliances, marriages, pledges of peace. Yes! The weddings, the namings, the boni mitzvah. We like to hear of big entrances and share them on Facebook. <laughs> and we know what to say. We say, Mazel tov. And we sing. Simantov. Today, Rosh Hashanah, this head of a year, is a celebration described by the sages as Hayom Harat Olam, the day the world was conceived. With the new moon, a new year ripe with possibilities, so we read about Sarah conceiving and giving birth at age 90, about Abraham becoming a father of laughter at age 100, a miracle. For those here celebrating such new beginnings, again, we say, Mazel tov. And paired with each an inhale, there is an exhale. And for each coming in, there's a going out. And as a whole, it becomes harder to know what to say. Sarah gets pregnant, and Hagar gets banished. 
Isaac is ushered in with laughter, and Ishmael cast aside with tears. Sarah suckles her long-awaited son and must wean him and watch his father take him away. Abraham and Abimelech, a Hebrew and a Philistine, make a truce which is promptly broken in a dispute over wells. Sarah and Abraham journey for decades together, ushering in a new nation, a new way of living and thinking about God, and then they part ways. We have a grand entrance bias. We love the entrances, but the expulsions, the tears, the circumcisions, the weanings, the broken packs, Sarah, our mother, and Abraham, our father, our parents, breaking up. These two are part of our story, then and now. But they get harder to talk about when you look closely. Why is that? Is it as simple as an innate drive to seek pleasure and avoid pain? They tell me that the conception, that the sex feels great, but the birth, not so much. (laughs) Both are messy. Still, we bless the sex and curse the birthing. Conception and birth, profound paired truths. Our Torah portion makes a point of naming and pairing the two. Vatahar, and she conceived. Vateled, miledet, and she birthed. Tav, he resh, she conceived the same letters that spell the word Torah. And she birthed, miledet, Tilamed, you shall learn. These two words, tahar and teled, describing the wonders of conception and birth in Hebrew, are written with the same letters that make up the expression Talmud Torah. Another profound paradox used by the sages to describe the effort to live in alignment with our most profound and paradoxical truths. Torah and conception. The link deepens how we understand what Torah is. Torah narrates the conceptions, the origin stories, the possibilities. It's the joyous onset of learning. Talmud, on the other hand, is the birthing, the labor pains of learning, the struggle of study, We love us some Torah, but the Talmud, yeah. (laughs) In Torah mode, we share stories and ideals, hopes, dreams, possibilities. In Talmud mode, things get real and messy. The predictable Spider-Man plot gets all multiverse on us. The Talmud famously records and honors our disagreements, our arguments, our debates, our controversies. The Torah reading this morning gives us glimpses of the Talmud between the lines of the Torah, the messy birthing stories, the hard conversations, the misty uncertainties and pain that often get sidestepped in sermons like this. But not today. Today we're going to play in the mud a bit. Two challenging conversations in particular are highlighted by the appearance of an unusual word. Unusual because it's not commonly used and because of its spelling or misspelling. The word is odot. In Genesis 21, it's on page 483 in your maksor. Verse 11 ends with the phrase, al odot beno. There, Sarah is insisting that Abraham cast out his son Ishmael and his mother Hagar into the desert to die. Yeah, that's the conversation al odot beno regarding the odot, the, the other wife's son. Yeah, that conversation, probably not an easy one. And Abraham stays silent. 
and the conversation doesn't happen. The other place that that word, odot, appears toward the end of the same chapter. It's on page 487, and there we find another difficult conversation. Abraham makes a promise of goodwill to Abimelech, but Abimelech's men have seized one of Abraham's wells, and Abe has to confront Avi about this injustice. Al odot be'er ma'im, regarding the odot of the well of water. Two odot in one chapter, each embedded in a different conversation, and identifying a choice point in which Abraham must decide if and how to let go. First, we have Abraham being told to do something he knows is wrong. It's evil in his eyes. And then we have Abraham having to rebuke a Philistine king, Abimelech, regarding a wrongdoing, stolen or mistakenly taken documents, I mean wells. <laughs> Are you still with me? <laughs> I don't want to lose you because I have another source to share. Another where, way we can understand odot. The root of the word odot is mysterious, but it definitely has the word, the letters aleph and dalet in it. And another story invoked today, the story of the creation of humankind, the earthling, us, invokes that word. The Hebrew word is ed. Ed is often translated as a mist or a mysterious source of life-giving moisture. In the second chapter of Genesis, it rises up to water the earth. Here's the passage. When no shrub of the field was yet on the earth, no grasses of the field had yet sprouted because God had not yet set rain upon the earth, there were no human beings to till the soil. The aid, Yale Minaris. And an aid welled up from the ground and watered the whole face of the earth. And Yah God formed human from this humus, this mud, blowing into its nostrils the breath of life. And the human became a nephesh, a living being. In a garden called Eden with beautiful trees and fruits, and a tree of life and knowledge, and a river with four branches watering the entire garden, all from an aid. Since the origins of life on earth, it seems that the odot are essential for flourishing of life on earth. Yeah, they make a mess. You add water to earth and you get mud. And sometimes, a bit of mud on the face Mixing of earth and water is exactly what we need to refashion humankind in the divine image and likeness. Earth and water. Conception and birth. Torah and Talmud. Laughter and tears. Discipline and passion. We can't wait to share the news of a pregnancy and we put off writing the obituary or talking about or planning for death. We announce and dance at weddings and we don't talk about divorce. Raise your hand if there's been a divorce in your family. That's most of us. We celebrate the entrances but struggle with the exits. Welcome a baby and grieve weanings and empty nests. We laugh when the child comes and cry when they leave. We cry and then we go dumb. What can you say to the mother facing a newly emptied nest? Or a child who lost a parent? Or a friend going through divorce? And yet we must create space for those silences and the difficult conversations because there can be no new beginnings without endings. No inhale without an exhale. No new nourishment without excrement. And no new resolutions 
for a new year without some odot exposing the conflicts between us and lubricating the wheels of the conversation. If we look closely at the circle of life, if we do Talmud Torah, we cannot avoid the paradoxes. Conceptually, we know it's there, the paradox of life and death. Yet we struggle to learn it, to Talmud it, to integrate it. Parker Palmer, a teacher of teachers, like my mother-in-law, Tony, writes about the importance of living into the paradoxes as educators, as human beings, as souls. In his seminal book, The Courage to Teach, he writes, a child must learn the difference between hot and cold to keep from getting hurt and the difference between right and wrong to keep from hurting others. And it is equally important that we retain or recover the ability to embrace paradox where discrimination gets us into trouble. He continues, we split paradoxes so reflexively that we do not understand the price we pay for the habit. As with the poles of a battery, when we separate any of the profound paired truths of our lives, both poles become lifeless specters of themselves, and we become lifeless as well. First, Parker Palma reminds us that we need the discipline to discriminate between facts and falsehoods, hot and cold, right and wrong, to protect our kids from hot stoves and our democracy from lies. Second, he describes the price of bifurcating profound paradoxical truths, and he explains what he means by truth and what it would mean to be a community of truth. He writes, Truth is the passionate and disciplined process of inquiry and dialogue itself, the dynamic conversation of a community that keeps testing old conclusions and coming to new ones. And it's not the knowledge of conclusions that keep us in the truth. It's our commitment to the conversation itself. He writes, to be in truth, we must know how to observe and reflect and speak and listen with passion and discipline in the circle gathered around us in our community. Perhaps this is what we need to do. Perhaps these are the four branches of the river, these observing, reflecting, speaking, and listening, all of which require emptying, letting go. Perhaps that's why the shofar is hollow. We need to let go, to hollow out, in order to amplify the breath of life. Committing to this communi communal conversation can do much, Palmer assures us, to rescue us from ignorance, bias, and self-deception if we are willing to submit to it. Hagar and Ishmael, Isaac and Ishmael, Abraham and Sarah, Abraham, Abimelech, maternal competitors, sibling rivalries, marital strife, friends at odds. Each of these relationships is riddled with and watered by conflict as they struggle to find balance between Receiving and releasing, Kabbalah and Halakha, embracing and going forth, letting go. Abraham and Sarah didn't have the hard conversation and it left them in separate camps. Abraham and Abimelech did have the conversation and made a pact, a breit, and they lived side by side, Philistine and Hebrew. Today, let us become aware of the choice points between us and before us and choose with passion and discipline to honor the conception and the birth, the beauty of the lotus flower and the creative power of the mud. Shana Torah.
feel softer if it was hard feel the hunger if it touched you your heart took hold if it was simple and made you wise if it was sweet it made you smile weaved an indelible impression on your soul and your feet they walked and your lips An endless summer, part time, temporary lover, and the swoon of a deep blue sky. And as the time blew, you planted and you gathered your truth as it passed before your eyes. And the wound is where the light gets in, revealing the masterpiece just beneath the skin, and in the glow of a yard So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Helen Hutchins, and we have come to the time in the service for the board address. <laughs> I know this is the most thrilling time. So I have been a member of the board or, or for the last like month and a half, and I've been a member of CVE since 2015. Uh, some of you know me as an ex-rocket scientist. Some of you know me as having run the sound system for these things for a few years. Um, some of you know me as the holla baker for the Friday night services a lot of the time. And until July, some of you knew me as Ben's wife. Not that anymore. So last night, Jamie was talking about a lot about letting it go and also today, and when I hear let it go, I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I can't hear let it go without breaking into song and thinking about Frozen. <laughs> so uh, maybe that's a hint that we should have a, a Disney-themed music Shabbat sometime, <laughs> if you feel like writing that, Jamie. <laughs> I'm sure you get a really good turnout from the younger generation. 
but perhaps Frozen is also a uh, good story for us to think about today. So we put ourselves in lots of these boxes. I am a rocket scientist. I am the Hala Baker. And we know each other in lots of these boxes, too. I know the person who I call when I need to do something with the sound system, or I know that Jamie is the rabbi, and he's in that box. But we need to figure out how to bring ourselves out of those boxes. Elsa in the Frozen movie was holding herself in and trying to be confined to the roles that she had built for herself, that she needed to be this queen who was not able to be out. She had dangerous things inside her, and that ended up exploding pretty badly for her. So think of yourself. What are you seen as? What boxes are you putting yourself in? And how is that limiting you from trying some new things or rekindling some of the fun that you had as a child? How do you get to be the Elsa who could go and reach out and have fun playing with Olaf and doing fun things with her sister? So part of what the board does here is we try to build community. We try to bring you up and learn about new things and try to get you out doing stuff here. So I'm going to share with you a few of the things that I've done to step out of my comfort zone over the years here at CBE. And I want to invite you to think about them and think about what new things you can try. This year, I joined the Hiking Havara, and I've been hiking with them. In previous years, I've sung with the choir, and I believe we've got a gospel service coming up next month. We have oh, postponed it. Postponed. OK, well, I didn't hear that before I wrote this. Crosby Stills, Nash and Young coming up next. <laughs> Uh, we have a camping group that goes camping usually every August up at Leadville that you're welcome to join in with. We have a mitzvah committee where you can cook food for people. Um, I've done Hebrew classes in the past. I don't know when we're going to have them again, but trying a new language, learning something new, is always something that is available here at CBE. Um, we have the cycling havara that Mike was talking about, and I've gone biking with him a few times. And there's always various one-off events, learning about Ethiopian Jews, or diving deep into American history, or looking at any of our other current events as they come up. So I'd like to invite you all to take a look at what boxes you put yourself in, and what things you say, oh, I can do this, I can't do that, and step out of that. Try to find something new, see someone new and new, like come to a new event, and have a lot of fun with that. Or better yet, rather than just thinking about the boxes that you're in, talk to someone new today and ask them what thing they are looking forward to doing or what new thing they want to try, and see if you can help each other with that. So welcome from the board, and we look forward to seeing you afterwards for our luncheon. Thank you. Thank you. Now you have to mention the luncheon. Now they're all like, oh, service almost over. I started off with good afternoon. You did. You did. You did. No, uh, truly, let's, um, uh, let's, uh, let's stand now with those who are in mourning, uh, recalling a yard site. And, um, I have some names here. If I, this is a name connected to you, please rise when you hear it. Uh, Nancy Hale, Stacy Parlman, John Westby Olson, Leonard Estrin, Donna Aguero, Elaine Siegel, Takao Nagai, Mabel Alfonso, Nestor Aguero. I think I saw Cindy online. Condolences. Lila Grubb, Arnold Sheldon, Isaac Fox, Janet and Ronald Lehman, Bob Davis, Libby Colicello, Jane Conrad, Tony Haas, Sarah Alpern Nissen, and Maureen Spiegelman. If you'd like to add another name, please do so.
Offer a Kaddish, Morris Kaddish on page 1215 and 1216. Yitkadal Yisrael, Bagala Vizman Kariv, Vimru Ame. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevorach, Leolam Ulome Amaya. Yid Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Ramam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Alev, Vit Halal, Shme de Kutsha, Brihu. Le Ela, Min Kol Birchata, Veshirata, Tush Birchata, Venechemata, Damiran Beama, Vimru Ame. Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vichayim Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen, Ose Shalom Vimroma, Huya Se Shalom, Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vial Kol Yoshvete Vel, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Roma Shana Tova, 
We're almost there. I'm not one to stand in front of people and their bagel and locks, so I'm going to make my announcements very quickly. It's actually a really selfish motivation. I can't stand being away from bagels and locks. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Luke Colicello, and I am the executive director here. Uh, and I'm just going to share a few things that we have, uh, the abridged version. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for filling our sanctuary this morning um, with soul and passion and celebration. Happy New Year. Um, we have um, one more service today, and that's going to be the family service. So if you have young kids and want to join us for that, or if you don't and want to join us for that, that is at 4 p.m. And then tomorrow we will be doing our, um, our joint congregational service at O'Fallon Park. And we have three other congregations that will be coming together. Um, and we'll be doing the shofar blowing and um, tashlich as well. So that will be lovely. And then next week we have Yom Kippur. And I hope you'll join us on Yom Kippur Day. We have a number of, uh, we have three members who have um, offered their homes for Break the Fasts. If you're interested in joining, there are uh, sign-ups for the different homes um, in the uh, atrium area. We have three different spots. Um, so if you want, you can sign up for something there. Um, okay, the things I was going to say. We, it's renewal season, so for members, if you haven't renewed, please do. Um, we have new staff members. Welcome to Sarah Hess as our facilities manager. We're so glad to have her on our team. And now I'm going to jump to the thank yous because I feel like that the gratitude is really important. Uh, today, these holidays don't come together without the support of our community and you all. Um, so first, thank you, thank you, thank you to Elizabeth Moore, our office manager to Rabbi Jamie and Laura Berman and the bands. We have Sherry Rubin, our music director. Today we had Alan Adenoff and Brian Adenoff here with us as well. Um, and of course, Sarah Hess, who helped us beautify um, the building ahead of services. Um, thank you to our AV team, James and, and Helen was helping out today, um, and Alan Rubin. Uh, to our board of directors, um, Helen, uh, thank you for that beautiful uh, speech. Um, and our other board members who are here today, uh, Steve Horowitz and uh, Lori Wallowitz and uh, Mike is online. Um, and then we have this luncheon coming up. <laughs> I'll keep on reminding you, but we had a lot of help making that come to fruition. So thank you, Diane Bukotman, for buying things and organizing. Joan and Steve Terrasser have been in there the last two hours helping set up. Stacy Lehner, Rebecca uh, Hilsenrath, Kaji and Thalia Moore, and Eli Hess helped out yesterday. Um, and I would be, rem be remiss if I did not say thank you to our Schmutz sisters. Um, they come here. <laughs> every year and clean all our uh, silver ahead of the holidays. Um, so thank you, Irene Clearman and Wolf and Joanne Greenberg. I don't know if you heard it was her birthday on Saturday. Um, and we're surprising her as well. As a part of the luncheon, we have a cake for Joanne. <laughs> and I'm going to give it over to Marilyn really quickly just to say a few words to Joanne, who has been a staple of this community since its inception. So um, Marilyn, if you want to uh, bring Joanne up here. Counting sheep, I was counting the hundred reasons I love Joanne Greenberg. And I fell asleep at 97. <laughs> but I remembered 98 is that she loves to sing. So can we sing happy birthday to Joanne and yeah. here, Rabbi? Sure. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. to life and a long life, well lived. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagam Amen. You open up your hand and nourish every living thing from the mud beautiful bread. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz 
Have a beautiful, beautiful, sweet New Year. Shana Tova, friends. And please do stay and join us for the luncheon, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow as well. We'll blast, do a hundred blasts on the shofar tomorrow. <laughs>